Hello, and this is our podcast for Behavioural Learning Theory. This podcast was created by Shane, Paul, Neve, Liam and Tanya. In this podcast, we will run through what makes up Behavioural Learning Theory, along with the work of the main theorists in this field. At the end of this video, I hope you've gained a better understanding and comprehension of this topic. So I'll just sit back, enjoy, and let's get started. Yes, Paul. Sarah, what's behavioural learning theory? That was a good question, Paul. Neve, you listen up now to this as well. So, firstly, I will explain what theory is. So, uh, how, theory is how some aspect of human behaviour or performance is organised. This enables us to, to make predictions about that behaviour. And secondly, learning, the relatively permanent change in a person's knowledge or behaviour due to, to, to experience. And if you put the two of them together, um, behaviour learning theory is the explanation of learning that focuses on a change in observable behaviour. So that explains your question, Paul. Oh, it is. Are you friends with me? Hi. Hi, I'm here. Oh, there's a for nine. Are we hitting around then, I said? I'm hitting around ten. Oh, it's down. Come on. Sit down. Come on. Oh, that's so much there. Oh, my God. The rough I don't know. Sixty-eight was that time, but I'm not. <laughs> Oh my God. Unreal, huh? yeah. Jeez, John B. Watson is the next theorist that we will be talking about. Watson's main focus was emotions. He was born in America in 1878. He believed that if he was given infants, that he could train them to become any type of specialist that he might select. Watson's most famous experiment involved a child, a white rat, and a loud noise. Watson first showed that the child, little Albert, was not afraid of the rat. The child actually tried to even pet the rat. Next, Watson introduced the rat again, but this time he included a loud noise. This frightened the child. This was repeated multiple times. Eventually the rat was brought into the room and the child was immediately scared. There was no loud noise, as the child was already conditioned to be afraid of the rat. Burhouse Frederick Skinner, or more commonly known as B.F. Skinner, was born in America in 1904. When Skinner had his second child, he created the air crib, a climate-controlled environment for his daughter. This experiment is what Skinner is most known for. Antecedent control is when you ensure a lab is safe before letting students use it. Teachers can handle inconsequential behaviour by ignoring it. This ensures that they do not damage the learning environment, as responding will be likely to make it worse. When a teacher takes this approach, the behaviour will usually improve within 30 seconds. An example of this is when a student talks out of turn and the teacher just ignores it. Consequential behaviour must be addressed by the teacher, as this behaviour is damaging to the learning environment for both themselves and other students. This would include when students are being disruptive and either physically or verbally abusive. An example of a student being physically disruptive will be shown in the following scenes. Which students is not? Today in class we're doing geometry, so my first question is, what is the sum of the angles in a triangle? 180. Neve. 180. Well done, Neve. Good girl. Okay, next question, class, is what is the sum of the angles in a square? Yes, Paul. 360 degrees. Good man, Paul. 
You had your hand up this time and everything, that's why I picked you. Right class, can you take down these two pints from the board into your copies now please? Who threw the paper airplane? Nee, was it you? No sir. Paul? Yes sir. Paul, did you throw this paper airplane at me? Yes sir. Paul, up to the front of the class now please. Ah sir. Paul, stop smiling, this is not funny. Up to the front of the class. And put this in the bin as well, please. Paul, that's not good enough. Yes, sir. You're staying at the front of the class now for the rest of the year. Ah, yes, sir. Paul, sit down. Jesus, sir. Put it nag in there for later, I have. Bottle cool. What's he doing? <laughs> Lads, wait now, come on, sit down. Come on. Come on. Why oh, you fucking clap for him, had that on. Like, the air fryer bed's up in the door. <laughs> and now, now you're just waiting, isn't it? Yep. Who showed the paper airplane? Who showed it? Nee, was it you? No, sir. Paul, was it you? <laughs> 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 huh?